Hey everybody, we finally have the solution to your problems of noise complaints from your tenants. So whether it's a duplex, triplex, quadplex, whatever multi-unit property, you know the number one complaint is tenants complaining about noise from the other tenants in the property. We finally have a solution thanks to Sonopan. We're gonna show you what this is all about in this video and how you can eliminate this problem forever and even soundproof your basement if you don't wanna hear your kids yelling and shouting downstairs. No more noise complaints. No more noise complaints. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, I'm here with Michael Wolf from Sonopan and Sonopan is a really cool product that we've come across uh, for soundproofing, um, specifically within houses. So within flooring and uh, ceilings and stuff and walls as well. So I wanted to ask uh, Michael uh, what Sonopan is and why real estate investors should know about this product. Absolutely. So this is Sonopan. It's a four by eight sheet. So we just got a little sample and I'll bring in too much, but you can feel how light, easy to work with it is. Yeah. It's a fiberboard panel and it's made from 100% recycled wood. So the green is to show how eco-friendly we are. <laughs> okay. And this absorbs a wide range of sound frequencies. It's a soundproofing panel. And we manufacture it in Quebec, Canada, and it goes in any wall or ceiling, like you said. And we also have a floor panel as well for impact noise. So we've got your impact noise covered, which is a footfall, furniture moving, things like that. And we've got the airborne noise covered, which is the talking TV, radio, which gives you a lot of privacy. So that's okay. really important, of course. Which one is this? Wall? This is the wall and ceiling one. Wall so and it's a little ceiling. bit thicker. Okay, and then the floor one's a bit thinner? Floor one is 7 16 of an inch thick. Okay. And this one's three quarters of an inch. And what makes Sonopan different from other soundproofing solutions on the market? That's a great question. So we don't really have a competing product. But what we talk about is the four different food groups, the four different elements of soundproofing. Okay. So you've got mass, which is usually most typically 5 8 drywall. And that's required regardless for fire ratings between units. So you and put does that help with soundproofing a little it bit? It helps significantly. So okay. mass really helps. So in between townhouses, for example, right now, you have to have 5 8 drywall between the, the demising wall to stop that sound and to stop that, um, that fire as well, because it's, it's a very heavy material. So mass, whether it's cinder blocks, cement, or, or drywall really helps with soundproofing. And that helps with a certain frequency range. So you've got low frequencies to the mid is really what mass really helps with because you're stopping those heavy, large wavelengths. Then you've got insulation, another common material. So insulation stops resonance or echoing in an empty cavity. And then Sonopan creates a solid continuous barrier. That's one of the, the, one of the ways it works so well. There's not, uh, it's not a secret. We've not got a magic panel. It's designed specifically for soundproofing for this purpose. It works really well in conjunction with insulation, drywall, and potentially decoupling to create that solid barrier to capture those frequencies that the mass doesn't capture and the insulation doesn't capture. And it creates that solid barrier that's continuous. And that's the, the key is sound is like water. It will travel through any gap or crack. So creating that continuous barrier with Sonopan stops and absorbs a wide range of sound frequencies. And then finally decoupling as the fourth element separates two building materials. Uh, it's also a requirement in most ceilings and rental uh, and duplex uh, buildings. And that's what stops the vibrational noise. So it helps uh, with the bass, with the music, with to a degree footsteps, and that separates the materials. So four basic elements, you combine those and you're going to get excellent soundproofing. Okay, could you say them again, the, just the four elements? Absolutely, so we've got drywall, which is mass, insulation, stops resonance, sonopan, creates a solid continuous barrier to stop and absorb the noise, and decoupling, which okay. separates the two materials. And what is decoupling? Decoupling is a strategy, but there are also materials that do it, as well as building strategies. So you could build two separate walls, which is how modern townhouses are built, two by four wall, one inch gap, another two by four wall. And that's what the, the one inch gap, it's not the airspace, but the fact that there's no connection between the two walls. There's resilient channel, which is used in a lot of ceilings. That's by yeah. code, uh, creates a separation from fire and sound. And that's got two different sides. We just have to be really careful with the resilient channel because it's installed incorrectly a lot of the time but that separates the two materials and stops the sound vibrations going through. There are a few other strategies as well, but those are the two most common. Okay, so how much of an extra reduction in noise would you say Sonopan 
brings to some Great question. So Sonopan itself adds about 11 STC points, sound transmission class, and that's how you measure soundproofing. So if we're talking about sound transmitting from this side of the wall to the next side, it's the STC, the sound transmission class rating that separates those two materials, okay. uh, separates the sound traveling through, those, uh, through that space. So most people so, soundproofing a room, they're just using those other three methods and they don't have maybe, Sonopan. Maybe, maybe not. So a lot of people still use, if they're not required by code, they still use half inch drywall, which is about 36 pounds compared to 80. So they're not using the mass. They don't know about what to do to soundproof. So if you've got a, for example, a student rental, you want to put five eighths drywall on the, on the bedroom walls because it's not required by code, but that separation will, will help. And of course, Sonopan and insulation. So just basic materials don't cost a lot more to do it. And you're only doing certain spaces. But to get back to your question of what Sonopan will add to soundproofing, it's about 11 STC points. And being, uh, without getting too technical, so uh, STC is a logarithmic scale, meaning it's not linear. And the, the higher up the scale you go, the more value a point has. So 11 STC points will basically, when you add that to a wall, will basically double the soundproofing. Oh, wow. So it's, it's huge. Okay. And how expensive is it to add on to a project of soundproofing a room or a basement, a separate unit? Great question. And a really, uh, I think, good answer for a lot of people, it's a dollar a square foot, slightly oh. under that. So uh, about a dollar a square foot to, uh, to purchase and then uh, just your installation costs, which it doesn't need to be mudded, taped, like drywall, there's no special treatment. Four by eight panels get screwed on the wall or ceiling or just laid on the floor and stapled down. And yeah. it's really quick, easy assembly. So this is, you put if you're doing it on a wall, you'd put it over the insulation, screw it right into the studs. Exactly. Okay, and on the ceiling, same thing. Just same put thing. it right up and then drywall goes. Yeah, and over. if you want to add resilient channel, you can add resilient channel either before or after Sonopan. Uh, check out sonopan.com on the website. We have some information on the, the pros and cons of doing it either way. Yeah. Uh, but you can add resilient channel to that as well. But any wall or ceiling or floor, really easy addition. And you can even retrofit. So say you've got, pretend this is a bedroom wall and you've got someone transferring noise transferring through here, install Sonopan right over top and then drywall on top of that. Although, mm. of course, we wouldn't want to cover up the rocks. Rocks so logo just, in this you, case. Yeah, but. yeah, right over the big, you <laughs> your terms. Um, cool, so yeah. you can put it over existing drywall. Yes. And then just drywall over that as well. Absolutely. Which could be cheaper. Um, so I guess the best time to install this would be mid-renovation, especially if you're adding like a duplex apartment, separate unit in the property. When everything's gutted, put this down on the floors, ceilings, walls, and you're gonna get a two times uh, increase in soundproofing. Absolutely. And uh, if you can plan ahead, you'd rather, it's best to do it when you're renovating, like you mentioned. A lot of people tend to, uh, in, and this is why we're here today. A lot of people in retrospect say, I have a tenant complaining about noise, or I have uh, you know, an issue with a, with a duplex where it's not passing code all of a sudden because the, the, the tenant complained and they realize there's an issue with it. So if you install soundproofing during the renovation, it's a minimal cost difference. Uh, the average home, you're talking between $500 and $1,500 in soundproofing installed. It's not a lot of money. That's it. That's it. Because you're a dollar square foot. If you're doing uh, a ceiling that's 1,000 square feet, you're talking $1,000 yeah. of material. Yeah. A few walls, not, yeah. call it another 1,000 square feet, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Depending yeah. on if, you're looking if, at how many units. Bucks. Yeah. That's by far the number one complaint for multi-unit households. Absolutely. Is just the noise. So has your product been super popular with investors? I Absolutely. imagine that it would be. <laughs> so we actually came here because one of your investors yes. uh, brought it to, to everyone's attention. Shout out to Christian Carl. Yes, uh, great guy. And uh, we've worked with him a few times and, and shot some video on, on his properties. But um, the this is, it's a no brainer for investment properties. Yeah, it really you is. You need soundproofing. Yeah. So Christian came to us and was like, hey, I met these Sonopan guys. They're great guys and he swears by their products. And Christian's a full-time real estate investor. He's a Rockstar VIP member. He's been investing for a decade plus, and his big strategy is adding multi-units 
into properties and doing conversions. So when he comes to us and says like, you guys need to hear about this product, we definitely listen to Christian. Where can people buy it? Easy, uh, another easy uh, answer here. Home Depot is the most common. It's across Canada. It's in all Home Depot locations. Uh, we've got, that's the wall and ceiling panel. The flooring panel is launching into the Home Depots now. So maybe by the time you see this, you'll see it in the Home Depots as well. And then if you have an account at a smaller retailer, you can also purchase it through them as well. It's usually a special order, but comes in within a couple of days. Okay. Other than multi-unit properties and adding apartments, what are other use cases that you see SonoPan commonly used for? Absolutely. In Canada, we do a lot of basements because basements are, even if they're not used as a rental, basements are a very common space for loud noises, whether it's home theater, kids playing, uh, any sort of situation like that. So basements are probably the most common in Canada next. And then we've got home offices. Washrooms are a big one for plumbing noise. So, so um, the family member gets up, has a shower, or uses the toilet in the, in the middle of the night. Uh, then that soundproofing, you don't want to hear the, the plumbing noise. So often bathrooms get soundproof yeah. and bedrooms, of course. And can you easily cut this material to shape it around doorways and windows? Absolutely. So it's uh, because it's a wood panel, it cuts really easily with a circular saw. Okay. You can also use a sharp knife as well. Uh, we will, because we don't use any glues in the panel, we keep it as natural as possible. Yeah. So it will be a bit dusty, just a heads up. So we always give people that warning. So either cut it outside or use a dust extractor okay. or use a knife inside. But that's, uh, um, that's just the, uh, the downside, if you will, to being eco-friendly. So it's yeah. the dust is safer, but it is, uh, you will what see What are the it. little holes on it for? That's actually, the, so the, the impressions on it, we have over 17,000 impressions in each panel on both sides. Okay. So there's no front or back to the wall and ceiling panel. And that's what allows it to absorb a wide range of frequencies. It's kind of like an egg carton in the panel. We call it noise stop technology. And that, that differing density is what allows it to absorb a wide range of frequencies. Almost like shock absorbers? Sort of, exactly. So each frequency range responds to a different um, density. So uh -huh. that's what allows it to really do a, a great job at absorbing that range of frequencies. Okay. And yeah, it feels kind of like a foam particle board material, like a cross between foam and particle board. Um, it is light, as you can see. So it's pretty cool. Like for, for an investor doing a conversion project, this is a no brainer at Absolutely. that cost point. Um, the reviews, I looked it up, you know, prior to having you here because we wanted to make sure we were given a good recommendation. Reviews on Home Depot were excellent. Um, so it seems to be a great product. I'm shocked that there you don't have competitors doing the same thing or that this hasn't been introduced you know, previous to this. So can you give us just a quick little background yeah. on Sonopan's history, where you guys came from? Absolutely. So we're a fiberboard manufacturer, manufacturer. So this is, like I said, a fiberboard panel. And uh, we manufacture a lot of flat roofing materials. So building like this, uh, commercial building, flat roofing, fiberboard is, is a uh, commodity product that's used in, uh, in that roofing. And in the mid 90s, so that's been since 1940s, we've been manufacturing these, these fiberboard panels. In the mid 90s, we started looking at soundproofing and saying how fiberboard is used for soundproofing and it has a natural ability to absorb sound. What can we do to take it to the next level to really improve on that basic performance? And that's when we came up with the three quarter inch panel with those impressions pressed into it and they're yeah. pressed in during the manufacturing process. And that's what takes it to the next level. So you're taking a, 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 the performance of basic fiber ward, which does soundproof and elevating it. And we hold the patent on that. Uh, the other reason is that there's not a lot of competition in soundproofing is we don't compete with insulation, with drywall, with decoupling materials. We are used in conjunction and fill in the missing gap, if you will. So those materials, you combine all those common materials and you're just meeting code. And bare code states that you have to have an SDC of 50, but they'll actually even let an SDC of 47 or in some provinces an SDC of 43 pass. At 43, you can still hear the TV next door and what they're saying. Mm. So you want to bring your property up to code, not only for the privacy of the tenants, but also to not hear the complaints. They don't want to hear the conversation that their next door neighbors are having or their the neighbors right below them are having. So that's what the, the addition is, is it, it, it works in conjunction with the other materials and we hold the patent on the fiberboard. So there are plain fiberboard panels you could buy, but the performance does not nearly compare with what Sonopan offers. So you said uh, the STC code is 43. 
SDC code in some provinces, the letter 43 pass, and I believe it's BC and uh, on the East Coast now. Uh, in Ontario, it's where we are right now, it's 47, they will let pass. And even okay. at 47, you can still clearly hear people shouting. Okay, so the higher the STC, the better the sound for them. Exactly. You and want to aim for, for 55. For 55. Yeah. And so this adds 11 STC. It will add about 11 STC points, which bring you exactly to the mid 50s. Yeah, okay. So code plus this, you're in the mid 50s. Yeah. So it seems like a no brainer. I know Christian swears by it. Um, so where can people find out more? So sonopen.com is probably the easiest. You can follow us on show, social channels as well. We're on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all the common uh, social channels. And the best advice I could do say is reach out to us because we will help you with a soundproofing assembly for your application. So whether that's uh, a duplex, whether it's a separate unit that's dealing with traffic, uh, whether it's a basement, uh, um, uh, Airbnb type property, short term rental. Uh, we can help design the right soundproofing solution. We do that for free. We want to elevate people's understanding of soundproofing and then uh, that helps as well sell Sonopan. So <laughs> okay. that's that's how we benefit. But, uh, but our goal is really to educate people and help them create a good solution. Okay, so on your social channels and stuff, you have demonstrations of how to use this? We have demonstrations. We also have other contractors using it. We have real estate investors talking about it. Uh, so we, we try and share. We have uh, created more of a grassroots community where everyone can share and learn the best ways to soundproof. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Michael, for coming in and sharing this stuff. Absolutely. Super important for real estate investors. And until next time, your life, your terms. Thank you very much.